Thanks, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Dim Games. I, Youngtown, will talk and review and discuss video games, things that we love, right? We all like video games. I'm sure you're wondering, oh, God, no, we don't need another video game personality talking or reviewing things. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. I'm not trying to be another John Tron or Rooster Teeth or whatever. Apparently I don't have the credentials either because I'm not one sitting at a desk or B sitting in a room with things like posters and video game memorabilia behind me. So apparently I just don't have what it takes. Anyway, the very first game we are going to talk about is a game that is close to my heart. And that's Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Let's kick it. In 1994, Nintendo released a title developed by Rare by the name of Donkey Kong Country. It was one of the first to use pre-rendered 3D graphics. That's like a super detailed 2D image only giving the illusion of being three-dimensional. So while it was advertised as an incredible 3D adventure, it wasn't technically 3D. The significance of this technique known as advanced computer modeling was the amount of detail per animation. And if you check the box art, you can actually see see some of the 3D models before they were rendered. But enough about that. Let's get into the game. Story has it that the good old arcade Donkey Kong, now known as Cranky Kong, has given his title Donkey Kong to his good for nothing grandson. This was actually the first title that Diddy Kong was introduced in. And he was originally designed and intended to be a more modernized version of Donkey Kong Jr., but due to differences with Nintendo, he was renamed and thus Diddy Kong was born. So Donkey Kong was putting Diddy Kong through his initiation process or hero training. Apparently, it was Diddy's job to guard the ever so sacred Kong's banana horde. On that same night, a giant storm happens and here comes King K. Rool and his henchmen known as Kremlings as they stuff Diddy in a barrel and steal the banana horde. Why? I don't know, King K. Rool. Why do you have to do that? Nah. Donkey then later wakes up to find all them bananas are gone, and now he must go and reclaim his bananas. I know. Inspiring tale of the injustice that happens on Kong Island. So now Donkey Kong and his little trainee wannabe have to go through six areas of 40 or so levels in order to reclaim all them bananas. Now this game looks amazing. Each area has its own environment and the levels are always building on one another. That's good game development people. When you're playing a game and you can go from level to level and not get tired or feel like it's monotonous, you're generally playing a good game. I said generally, or you're just delusional. The level design is truly spectacular. There is so much depth to be explored. I love how the world around you will just change mid-level. It, it makes something like Kong Island feel very much so alive. The bosses are pretty cool. I mean, they aren't super special, but you gotta get your bananas somehow, right? It's near to impossible to get tired of platforming when there are things like animal buddies, tires, mine carts to change the pace. And once you think you have running and jumping all figured out, be prepared to be tested of your reflexes in those godforsaken barrels that are just floating in the air. What kind of witchcraft is this? I mean, Funky Kong does have a plane barrel granted, so like maybe he designed all of the rest. Did I mention that there are bonuses in this game? Yeah, holy mother of bonuses. So many bonuses, it makes me want to cry. Talk about making levels thorough, son. There are so many bonuses to be found, which makes the replay value of this already great game just greater. What really gets you is when you run across one of them on sheer accident, and you're like, yeah, I knew that. And if that didn't already submerge you in Donkey Kong's universe, how about that music, that Frickin' David Wise is a genius. The temple levels have this ancient native sound to them. The jungle levels have the highest level of energy. The music generates such a great feel of whatever space you're in. Oh, do I need to even mention aquatic ambience? Water and video games just never go hand in hand, but David Wise made it bearable with aquatic ambience. While Donkey Kong is stronger, he can actually lift barrels above his head and kill most of the bigger enemies by jumping on them. Diddy is your quick and nimble choice. Instead of rolling, he cartwheels, and the barrels are about the same size that he is, so watch out for attacks coming from above when holding them. 
I honestly for the life of me can't navigate through levels with Donkey as I do with Diddy. Enemies are ever so satisfying to kill, but the success of the extremely difficult platforming is even sweeter. A few things that drive me crazy is the camera. I just wish the camera showed a little bit more in advance so I didn't have to memorize every stinking time an army of something was coming around the corner. If you're like me, this game gets more nerve-wracking. You'll hit that point where you'll throw away more lives than you should, hit game over, and have to repeat that same string of levels over again because Candy Kong's save point is so forever away in the area! Why, Candy? Why? Oh, and why are the Kremlings like the main bad guys to Donkey Kong? Why not the bees? The amount of bees in this game is unbelievable. I'm surprised the antagonist isn't Queen Bee Drool. At the end of the day, this game is great and has a lot to offer. To those who haven't had the opportunity to play it, go and experience it for yourself. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Donkey Kong Country was a groundbreaking game for its time and has aged extremely well. The level design is fantastic, the music is memorable, and it handles super tight, thus creating an unforgettable experience. I give this game 11 bananas out of them tens. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much. I'm Youngtown. This is the first episode of Dim Games. If you liked it, please share it. Share it to your friends and your family and your other friends that play video games. Please like it, subscribe. So anyways, I'm Youngtown and uh, see ya.